Yesterday we spent more than 12 hours together with the children, but what quality time did they actually spend with you doing things where they were stimulated and having fun? I, I don't know. That's sad. That's really sad. than anything, and I don't want to neglect them. To keep the girls quiet, Mum sent them outside, and I got a chance to speak to Mum alone. How much in control are you of their behaviour? I don't feel that I have any control over their behaviour. They don't listen to me, and they, they hit me. That's embarrassing. So what's it like when you've got friends around? We don't really bring friends or anything around. We don't want them to act out in front of other people. I just don't want them to think that I'm a bad mom and I'm doing something wrong. That must be very isolating for you, though. I mean, you're a young mom. Um, I don't even know who I am anymore. All I am is a wife and a mom. Um, that's all. That's all I am. She's not really enjoying motherhood. It seems all a little bit too overwhelming for her, and at the moment, she's not in a good place. And I just don't know what to do, how to change that. I get home from work, and Joe's at my house. Hi, Doug. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Joe. Hi. Hi. I knew what she can do, and it was definitely a sign of relief. Just after I met Doug, he composed himself for a few minutes, and then he made himself comfortable on the couch. Sarah, please stop kicking me. My dad sits on the couch a lot and watches TV. Why do you want to go play? The girls were trying desperately to get dad's attention, <laughs> but he wasn't paying any interest at all. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I just kept thinking, wake up, Doug. You've got three children, and you haven't seen them all day. Go get the game, and you and Sarah can play. The girls finally gave up on Dad, and they started to play a game together. But it turned chaotic. If you guys are going to fight, I'm just going to take the game away. No! Then stop fighting. Just play it. Just play the game. There's a lot of chaos going on in the living room. Just put her in timeout. No! And Dad isn't managing that very well at all. I work hard. It's my break time to sit on the couch and not have to deal with life, I guess. I wanted to find out from Brandy and Doug who did what when it comes to raising their children. You're both working parents, mm -hmm. but you spend the same amount of time with the children, correct? Yeah, I would say we spend about the same amount of time with them. Would you agree with that? No, I would say I'm with them more. No, you don't agree with that? Um, no, she takes them to school and, and picks them up. Might be two or three times a month I take them or pick them up. <laughs> I'm sorry, two or three times a month you take them or pick them up? My husband is lazy around the house and with the kids. I take care of everything. What we're going to have for dinner, doing the grocery shopping. I take care of bills. I take care of the kids most of the time. I, I feel like the manager of the family, like I'm delegating. Doug, can you give the kids a bath? Can you put the kids to bed tonight? I feel like he doesn't think of this stuff on his own. My job is a lot more physically demanding. I'm, I'm exhausted when I get home from work. Is she breathing hard after she prints up a report? Because I'm breathing hard after I treat a lawn. And I didn't know she had a problem with it until now. Whatever! We talk about that all the time. Actually, we don't. The pair of them start to argue about how they're raising their children. I don't get a break. I don't get to sit on the couch and watch TV. You if don't? I do, it's after the kids go to bed. It was rather awkward being in the same room with the pair of them whilst they were pointing the finger at one another and blaming each other for their situation. I don't know why we're going round and round and round yeah, about and this. And we, we will. Mom! Does this happen often, what I'm seeing going on here? Yes. Yeah. She got a pretty good sense of what Brandy and I go through. Um, a lot of arguing, a lot of bickering back and forth. Does, does anything get resolved between the pair of you when you have issues? No. 
No, he just um, pretends that it didn't happen. If I didn't do that, it would never be resolved because you are the most stubborn person I've ever met. Does anything get resolved? No. no. It's time these two stop running around in circles. I need to sit Brandy and Doug down and talk about changing this situation. When I first arrived, I walked into a home that was spick and span. You provide a lovely home for your three children. But, You are a young couple. Where is the enthusiasm and the motivation where it should be? And that's the children. There is a complacency there, and there is a laziness there. I don't feel that I'm lazy. I mean, I'm doing something. I'm cleaning up something. Do you hear yourself? You don't think you're lazy because you're cleaning, but you're lazy when it comes to dealing with the kids. Let's talk about discipline. Who's running this household here? They are. We try to put them down for um, for a time out, and, and they just will not sit there. How do you get them to sit there? For a start, you recognize that you're the parents in the house. Lizzie yesterday, Brandy, was misbehaving. She didn't listen to you. And you actually went over to her and said, come on, Lizzie, and you tickled her. That's mixed messages. If she wasn't going to sit in time out, I was just trying to distract her from what she was doing, that way she, she would stop misbehaving. But what you do is, is set yourself up to fail the pair of you, so that when you do go upstairs and try to implement any form of discipline, it spirals out of control to the extent that you've got to hold a door. Let's talk about the structure of your day. Yesterday we spent more than 12 hours together with the children, but what quality time did they actually spend with you doing things where they were stimulated and having fun? I, I don't know. That's sad. That's really sad. than anything, and I don't want to neglect them. And Brandy, Brandy, I know that you love your kids, and Doug, I know that you love your kids, but if you're gonna love your kids, then let them see it. And the way you show your kids that you love them is not just about making sure that they're looked after, and fed and watered like a flower, but to give them you, because that's what they want at the end of the day. They want you to. Brandy and Doug don't spend enough quality time with their children, and I think they need to realise that they don't know their children as well as what they should. OK, I've got you both here because we're going to play a little game. And this game is how well do you know your children? Okay, question number one. What is Lizzie's favourite colour? Blue. Wrong. What is your favourite thing to do with Daddy and I asked Sarah? You pushed on the swing? Wrong. Wrestle, wrestle, wrestle. I thought it was wrestle. What is your favourite thing to do with Mummy? And I asked Lizzie this question. Help Mummy clean? <laughs> oh, you are wrong. <laughs> It made a game uh, out of our embarrassing failures as parents. Next question. What flavour is Lizzie's favourite ice cream? Five. Chocolate. Yay! About time! <laughs> I thought, oh crap, we need to really get on the ball and, and get to know our kids. 